which tablet to choose for a drawing. Here are some of my tips for choosing a tablet. First of all, I recommend choosing only an iPad. These are very high quality, powerful tablets, but before choosing, pay attention to the following characteristics. I recommend paying attention to tablets from 128GB of memory. I do not recommend taking less because the problem takes up a lot of it, and one high quality large sketch, for example, a restaurant project, such a sketch can take a half of the gigabyte. In this case, you will need to constantly upload your files to the cloud storage or other devices. This is do uncomfortable. Personally, I have two tablets, both with 256 gigabytes, and I'm very pleased with them. I've been using those tablets at least for two years, and I still have memory there. It's also worth remembering that there is just an iPad and also an iPad Pro. So iPad Pro versions have much more layers when creating a new canvas. This is so convenient for artists. Layers play a big role in drawing different sketches. Also, tablets iPad Pro are much more powerful and have better productivity, which is the difference between iPad Pro and just iPad. iPad Pro versions always create more layers to draw on. It's a very important factor for artists. Also, these tablets have higher productivity. Also, they are tablets with a SIM card and without it. I recommend buying without a card. It's just a waste of money. So I don't need a SIM card, I use this tablet only for drawing, moreover drawing programs like Procreate do not require an internet connection. Tablets diagonal. Which diagonal to choose? I recommend paying attention to the diagonal 10 and 9, 11 and 12 and 9 inches. So these are the most convenient diagonals in order to draw comfortably commissioned sketches. So with such diagonals you can view your sketch well, it doesn't bring any discomfort while drawing and in common, so your work is very clearly visible there. 11 and 10 and 9 tablets, very compact and it can be easily taken with you while traveling, they fit well in a bag and are more comfortable. You often ask me which one should you choose, to, just the diagonal 12 and 9 or 11 diagonal. I recommend considering both options and here everything is very individual and if you travel often to carry your tablet with you, I recommend considering a tablet with diagonal 11 and 10 and 9 inches, here is the smaller one. And if you draw money at work and at home, then of course the 12 and 9 inches tablet will suit you well. Personally, I draw on larger one, my husband on the smaller one. I tried drawing on the both tablets, I felt comfortable both here and there, and I didn't feel a big difference between them. To make it clear, just see how the 11 inches tablet and the 12 and 9 inches tablet differ in size. So basically, a tablet with the 10 and 9 inches will be practically the same as the 11 inches screen. What kind of tablets should be considered for purchase? I recommend paying attention to tablets from 2020s. Very good and not very expensive, so this is an iPad Air from 2020. Diagonal 10 and 9, minimum memory 128GB and more. Also pay attention to tablets iPad Pro 20s with 11 and 12 and 9 inches. Newer, these are iPad Pro 21 also with 11 inches and 12 and 9 inches. And the most frequently asked question is what to use to protect tablet screens? And do I need any protection at all? So I used to have a glass protection on my tablet and I was very comfortable working until I found out about the existence paper screen protecting film on the tablet. Paper film is a kind of matte grainy coat that, while painting, creates the effect of drawing on paper, even the sounds will be exactly the same. And of course, having tried drawing on matte film and the glass, it was matte film that became my favorite. I have identified many more advantages for myself when using the matte film. For example, when drawing on matte paper effect film, glare is not visible. The screen is very nice to the touch. The screen is warm even in winter, unlike glass. If you have a glass protector on your tablet and this tablet falls, so the most likely there may be cracks on the glass. Mm, and this will cause discomfort while drawing because the stylus will cling to these cracks. This is the reason that I found on my tablet when I was drawing sketches, it was very uncomfortable. And I had to avoid the area where there were these cracks. So in winter such a tablet is also very cold due to the fact that the glass protector is on it. 
When using matte film and feeling it as if this screen is getting even closer to you, and in particular unloved brush of many students, which at first will always be difficult to get used to, it is particular like when drawing on the matte film, such a brush is drawn much faster and easier. Well, the most common question, does the tip rub off on the matte film while drawing? Personally, I have never raised the tip because I don't put much pressure on the screen. Especially often this happens to beginners who, when using tablet, just press hard on the screen and then the tip rings off. But remember firstly that the tip is a consumable, so it's worth buying spare tips. And you can even buy them on AliExpress and change them when you will need it. On the second option, I recommend you increase the pressure curve and thus the Procreate the stylus will draw much more sensitively and you don't need to press so hard. Let's sum it up a little and I'll tell you about my equipment. So once again, I'm drawing on the iPad Pro 12 and 9 inches, released in 2018, so this tablet is 256 gigabytes. But for now, I recommend buying later models, starting from 2020. My husband has been drawing on the 2020s iPad Pro for a year now. This is an 11-inch tablet and the memory is also 256GB. Let me remind you, it's enough for us, I have never run out of memory of any of tablets. My very first tablet was an iPad Pro 2017 years. Uh, these are tablets that came with the buttons here. And for such tablets, the first generation stylus is suitable. So these are two types of styluses, the first generation Apple Pencil and the second generation Apple Pencil. First generation Apple Pencil has a cap and usually these styluses are suitable for tablets with a round button. So the first generation has a cover that is removed and the stylus is charged by inserting it into a tablet. It's actually not very comfortable and sometimes you can accidentally hook the stylus. Just remember, if the tablet is with a round button, then the first generation stylus, which is with, um, suitable for it. Also, you must remember that the iPad must be compatible with the pencil. Not all tablets can connect stylus. Newer versions can do it, older versions rarely. Therefore, if you buy, for example, a used tablet or you had a very old version at home, always check if it's compatible with the stylus because it's inconvenient to draw without it. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to ask questions if you don't understand something. And if you need any help with choosing a tablet, do not forget to write me. I will definitely help you and tell you which tablet is better to choose. Next time I want to show you my Procreate settings in order to automate your work and make it very convenient to draw in this program. See you soon!